Next, with Omicron surging, more workplaces are trying to figure out if and how and when they'll return to offices. But as KBX 5's Max Darrow reports, decisions by big companies could have impacts on smaller businesses. Boy, I'm glad you opened up. Leonid Plotkin has managed to keep his financial district barbershop afloat throughout the pandemic. It's been very up and down. He relies on people who work in the district, but when the area looks like this during a Friday lunch rush... It's so empty, it's almost eerie. Success can be tough to find. Last week uh, was probably the slowest week for me since I uh, uh, came back from uh, after shutdown. A ripple effect of the Omicron wave. Employers are just kind of taking a pause and thinking, what do we want our long-term plans to actually be? Kelly O'Branwitz is with the Bay Area Council. They survey around 200 Bay Area employers of all sizes monthly to get a sense of return to the office plans. We have about 6% of employers who complete the survey uh, that say, you know, they're not planning to go back to an office. But the vast majority do, which could bode well for Plotkin in the financial district. Employers are saying that they do anticipate about a quarter of their employees to be remote post-pandemic. Again, that still means you have 75% of your workforce coming in. So the most important thing probably Probably, of course, if offices just reopen doors for their employees at least part of the week. Obranowicz says it appears many employers will likely move to a hybrid, remote, in-person work model as the new norm. I feel very hopeful. They are very hopeful. One good sign for recovery, Sephora just announced they're relocating their headquarters to a Salesforce building in Soma. Now, as they wait for their next batch of data, Obranowitz is curious to find out how Omicron has changed RTO plans once again. Not just when are you planning to start bringing people back, but when is your new long-term norm going to be implemented? Are we still expecting to see that around 85% of employers have people back with the consistency that they want by May, or are we looking to a further out timeline? In San Francisco, Max Darrow, KPIX 5.